Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am doing a memory plan of a random week in September, the week of September 27th, using this beautiful kit from Anne Hart's Planning. It's called the Oriella Kit. Um, right here I'm showing you, I actually did the base of this kit as well as part of Monday on an Instagram Live with Rachel and Tay of Gathered Plans and Shante Plans. So I'm just showing you what I did um, during that Instagram Live. I will it down below if you want to go check it out. We've been doing those occasionally where we'll just get on Instagram live and sit together and plan like the base of a spread together for an hour or something. They're fun if you ever want to check it out. Um, and yeah, so that's where the first, first section of this video goes and I am about to start showing you um, the rest of planning on Monday. So Monday was a pretty lazy day. I had just come back from a bachelorette party the weekend before, I think. So I am marking right here that I just had a pretty lazy recovery day. I had done a self-care shower earlier. I had, let's see, what else did I mark on Monday before this video? I had edited and uploaded a haul this day. And then I also had announced that um, I was coming out with a freebie with Crafts by Towie or Crafts by Towie came out with my freebie this day. So um, pretty chill, just a lot of like, self-care, lazy, editing a video kind of stuff. I also made grilled chicken sandwiches this day and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, so I'm showing you again what that day looks like. As always with this spread, um, most of what I use is kind of the same week to week. So I'm always using all my foiled icons are almost always all from Crafts by Towie. Um, most of well, all of my doodle icons are from White Deer Stationery, and oh my goodness, the White Deer Stationery icons were such a perfect match with this kit. The blue icons from her color line, colorway looks so good with this kit if you have it. Um, incredible. And then, let's see, um, all of the dividers, I think, if almost all of them, if not every single one of them, are from Bloom Paper Studio in this kit. The lace ones look so good. This was such a feminine kit, such a like... Um, Anne Hart's planning has such a beautiful style. It is so feminine and so unique and she's such an artist like truly um, and I really like her style. I actually struggle with it a little bit because her stuff comes so patterned and I tend to like white spacey stuff but I so appreciate the design of what she does that I just try to make it work um, but I did struggle. I felt like I was struggling a little bit to to incorporate like my kind of more white space style with the really heavy patterns that she has but it's so beautiful and yeah I just felt like the lace and the scallop dividers that I pulled in really kind of helped make this spread look really feminine which is what I'm always going for. Um, I also did a lot of what I'm doing right here which is taking the uh, mini boxes from the Pretty Pink Co which are just white boxes that are really great kind of third box size but don't go the full width of the column. This is a trick I use all the time where I put them on top of super patterned third and half boxes to make a white space so I can write in it and it still looks good but you still get the pattern in the background. I just find that that works out really well and I did that a lot with this kit because all of her like all of the boxes that she has are so patterned. So, I think it looks really good. Um yeah, to do that. I also put some honey inked little dividers. I think I got those off of a, a Rachel's freebie because I don't actually have that sheet and I put that around that box and it looks, I really like how it looks too. Um I used a lot of bows, some of the side bows from um, I think Sadie stickers and Bloom Paper Studio. I have them from both shops to accent a lot of the icons as well as bows from um, my spoiled planner to um, to accent a lot of the like doodle icons that needed foil as well. So um, that I think looked really good. I try when I pick out like bows to um, foil up the doodle icons. I try to pick. I have a couple different options. I try to pick bows that I think go with the style of the kit and then I try to keep them consistent throughout the spread if possible. It's just another way that I think helps make my spreads look a little bit more consistent um, and like cohesive rather than just a bunch of random stuff all thrown together because that's, I, I always worry about that with my spreads. I try to go for some sense of cohesion with them because um, I've definitely done spreads like that where I've been like, this looks so random. What What's all happening here? Um, okay, so Tuesday, again, didn't do too much. I marked $2 Tuesday. I think I must have bought some. Um, and 
posted about them, my meetings, grocery delivery. I made this butternut squash ravioli that night. I remember that. It was beautiful. And I also meal prepped some stuff for the rest of the week. Wednesday, I marked one meeting. I used the pens this week from White Deer Stationery with the bows from uh, either Bloom Paper Studio or Sadie Stickers to mark meetings this week. And then I switched up what I layered them over, which was nice because I, I do tend to mark my meetings really consistently. But I did like to, like sometimes I like to switch up parts of it. <laughs> I marked painting my nails, filming a plan with me. Um, and then, oh yeah, putting all of the... Um, those Bloom Paper Studio lace lace dividers down at the bottom just to like cap off the bottom of all of the columns. So pretty, so, so pretty. And then um, putting some of the florals there too. I always do this. I like to make little floral scenes at the tops and bottoms of columns, especially especially on days where I don't have a lot going on um, to take up some space instead of like filling the columns dividers and stuff. I like to just make a little scene. Um, I mean, I do both, but this, I do this very often. Um, and I think a lot of the little florals that I put behind that to kind of make it foiled are from Bloom Paper Studio, um, as well as I used a lot of the ones from Honey Ink this week as well. Um, the ones that I used up top, I think are mostly from Sadie Stickers. I don't remember. Well, I don't know. I don't remember. So I'm going to have to not talk about that because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I wasn't feeling well this day, so um, I marked that with some slippers from um, White Deer Stationery. I thought that was so cute. I put the little My Spoiled Planner bows on top. Uh, adorable. I feel like I saw somebody do that years ago, like maybe Nikki Plus Three or Two Little Bow Babies or Kiara maybe even, and I just thought it was the cutest thing. Like they had little foiled bows on them. Um, okay. Yeah. So I wasn't feeling great that day. So not a whole lot to mark. Um, cause I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, Thursday though, I actually did a lot this week. Thursday on, I did a lot. I, I think this was one of the only weekends that I was in town in both September and October. I basically like starting end of August, I, I was think this was the only weekend I was home until the end of October. So I crammed a lot in. Um, I marked that we had a meeting this day and then or I had one meeting this day, and then I marked that the big thing that happened this day was that I went to a um, Giants game, a baseball game, with my sisters and our my husband, my sister's boyfriend. We all went together. So right there, I marked that we went to Momo's, which is a bar right across from the stadium. I feel like all stadiums have that, like the bar that you go to before. <laughs> so we went to Momo's before the game. Um, and I used a crafts by Tally icon, of course, to mark that. And I just put a lot of foiled florals behind the, um, the other ones. And then I think all of the little dividers and the garlands I'm using here from Sadie Stickers. I marked the Giants game with, oh, who are these? Shoot, I don't even know who these um, circles are from. Probably Alyssa's Craft Shop, the like scout, um, the doily like circles that I use throughout. I don't know. That's what I would guess. Um, but I just used a baseball sticker from Crafts by Tally that comes from her like sports or athletic sheet. I really enjoy that because I don't play baseball, but I go to baseball games, so I like having a sheet <laughs> that's a sampler of all of those. And then at the bottom, I just did a heart to mark who I went with. I feel like I used to be much better about marking um, that kind of details in my planner before, but as like years ago, but as my planning styles changed, it's become a little bit harder. And it's also like a little bit more, I value my privacy a little bit more now, but I don't know. Anyways, internal struggles. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to Friday, I marked that it was the first day of October. I layered this kind of like floral shape from the kit over top some um, transparent mats or transparent like watercolor swatches, I think from Paper Trail Plans. And I really liked how that turned out. Um, I marked that my brother and sister-in-law were in town. And I also marked curling my hair, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But ever since I graduated from college, pretty much, I have been getting pretty regular blowouts whenever I want to go somewhere to get my hair done. I just pay for someone else to do it. But I couldn't get an appointment this day for whatever reason. So this is the second time I have curled my own hair since I graduated college. And I was pretty proud of that. The other time was when I 
had to go to a wedding during COVID. Um, but I did that because I was going to my friend's engagement, which was really exciting. Um, she got engaged this night and her fiance, um, had like asked some of us to be at his parents' house for a party afterwards. So she got engaged and then surprised we were there after. So that was really fun. Um, my brother and sister-in-law though were in town and it was the last time we were going to see them before they had their baby. So after that party, we kind of cut that short and headed over to my in-laws house to have dinner with them and hang out with them that night afterwards. Um, so that was exciting. Most of yeah, I think I, I mean, if you have any questions about the stickers, let me know. Um, I am happy to answer down in the comments. And I also tag them all on my Instagram too, so. Um, okay, I marked filming a plan with me here with another Paper Trail Plans script, same one from the Hello October. Um, not the same one, but same shop. Um, and then some Crafts by Taui Icons. We were going to an engagement party <laughs> for another couple tonight. So these, this couple has been engaged for a while and we were just going to their engagement party. Um, I swear, September and October and November was like the month of wedding stuff. Engagement parties, bridal showers, bachelorette parties, like so much weddings, so much in those couple of months. It's wedding season for sure. Um, so I marked that I had to get them a gift. We also did some home tours this day. Um, I think a lot of them. Oh, three houses I marked down. Yeah. See, I'm trying to put some details in because this is my memory planner. Like I want to remember someday. Um, that's the point, right? Like sometimes it's to make it look pretty, but it's also for my memories. Um, I marked the engagement party, uh, using some doilies. And then I really like how I layered the florals over this one, kind of like from behind coming around and then coming off the side, of course. And then the little divider, um, that I put underneath that is from, um, Bloom Paper Studio as well. That divider too looks super cute. I think if you put some sort of like floral or decorative sticker in the middle, it's a good one, but I just left it kind of to stand on its own there. Um, okay. Moving on to Sunday. We, I marked, not we, I'm looking ahead. Um, I marked that I edited and did a voiceover for a plan with me um, this day. I don't know why I think that looks so cute. The little Crafts by Taui, um, like quarter box size scallop box layered over um, quarter boxes from other kits, I think is such, such a cute look there. And I like when my handwriting is really small like that. I have to remember to write smaller because I prefer, whoo, knocked my mic over. Sorry if you heard that. I prefer my, um, handwriting when it's small like that. Um, okay. I marked that we, we were headed over to, um, our, my in-laws again for lunch this day, again, to spend more time with, um, my brother and sister-in-law since we were super busy the day before. I didn't get to see them the day before. I think Steven did before we did the home tours, maybe in the morning, but I don't know. Anyways, um, so we picked up some sandwiches that is from one of our favorite places and his brother's favorite place. Um, and I marked just that we had lunch with them and then we kind of hung out, um, with them for a while. Um, I think they ended up having to go to the airport, but we hung out with Steven's parents for a while there. So again, just layering the, um, pretty pink co mini box over the, uh, quarter box or third box from the kit. And then after that, we, um, stopped, I think on our way home, maybe we stopped by my parents, um, for, I think we must have ate dinner with them and I gave them some gifts that I had bought. We were in Kauai the week before that not the week before but the week before that <laughs> we were in Kauai with Steven's parents and I got my parents some gifts um from Kauai so I we went over there to drop those off for my parents um okay so I just showed you all of the leftovers and then sorry if you've heard me say this a million times but if you're new <laughs> I put all of the leftovers that I don't use from kits because I buy when I buy a kit, I buy everything and multiples of the florals. Um, so I put all of the leftovers into a leftover sticker book. And then um, when the sticker book is full, I will do a giveaway for the um, to win the, all the leftovers in the sticker book. Those, those are pretty cool too, you know, just to have. Because like once you start using the stickers, then you can put your leftovers in there too. Anyways, or just organize it however. I also put um, in the back of all the sticker books, I don't think I ever show this, but I also put all of the freebies, like stickers from freebies that I get from, you know, when you 
order and you get a freebie from a shop, I put all of the um, the stickers that I don't plan on using um, from those freebies into the back of this that book too. So it's got pages and pages of like functional stickers from freebies as well. Anyways, this is the whole spread. I'm in my new house and this is the first time I'm filming one of these panovers in my new house. So you'll have to excuse me. The lighting is not great to show the foil. I got to mess around with where in my house I can take a good foil shot and what time of day and all of that. Obviously, it's different than my, my old apartment, but um, still, I think it looks really pretty, um, and you kind of get the gist. <laughs> I'll try and do a better video on my Instagram, um, but that's pretty much it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I hope you are staying safe and well, and I think that's all from me. Thanks, everybody. Bye.